Hi friends, my name is Gabrielle. Today I'm going to share what classes I took during my masters in machine learning at Cambridge and what I thought of them. I took 11 classes in total in the two taught terms of our masters. Each term is eight weeks only. In my first term, I took six classes, four core classes and two electives. The first core module is Introduction to Machine Learning. It's an exam-based course covering basic machine learning concepts like classification, regression, model fitting, parameter estimation like maximum likelihood, EM algorithm, and so on. There are two things that really surprised me about this course. First of all, it has an exam only one month into the master's program. So we basically only took very few lectures and then you have to take an exam that counts for 100% of your grade. Second surprise is there's some summer reading that the professor sent us around a month before the program start date and it is estimated to take six hours. However, all of us took more than 20 hours, which is three times the estimated number of hours because it is quite dense and if you don't have a background in stats, math or machine learning, you probably need to take your time to look at the proofs, the math, the matrices, review related math concepts in order to understand it. I made a mistake of starting the summer readings too late because I was working. I had so much work once the term started and there wasn't really any time to lay a good foundation on these materials and concepts. The second core class is Speech Recognition, MOMI2. It's a coursework-based class that introduces us to automatic speech recognition. I have two main memories of this class. First is the introduction lecture was very in-depth and it took us by surprise. A course may even says this two-hour lecture basically summarized his four-year undergrad which is true because it covered so many new concepts like discrete Fourier transform in maybe two slides and I have no idea what's going on and it's hard to follow especially because the lecture is fully online. My second memory of speech recognition is its unstructured lab sessions. In those lab sessions, we don't really have a plan of what to do. And what happens is we all join this Teams call and there are two TAs and you will just wait in silence until a TA calls you in a one-to-one -one call. And if you don't have any progress, then the call can just end in like a few minutes. But if you have many questions to ask them, they might be able to talk to you for like 10 minutes. The perils of this format is you could easily fall behind and not know which part of the coursework your peers have reached. I would recommend set some goals on which part of the coursework to complete by which lab session. Make sure you're on track to finish the coursework and not have to spend too much time during the Christmas holidays to work on it. The next core module is Deep Learning and Structured Data for F10. It is an exam-based class. This has to be the most useful class I've taken at Cambridge because how applicable the concepts I learned in this class to industry. I'm a machine learning engineer. I train models and work with specific model architecture. And these model architectures are actually covered in this class. For example, transformers, LSTMs, differentiate loss functions, and some basic maths behind the attention mechanisms. It is a very useful class. However, a strange thing is you take the classes in Mikuma's term, that's October to December, but you only take the final exams in May the next year. Thus, we have to be self-disciplined and keep up with the lectures. Since there's so much independent study we need to do after each lecture. However, what's more realistic is we just fall behind the lectures and try to catch up during the Christmas holidays. A thing to note for this class is I'm getting deja vu of the DSE, that's the Hong Kong public exam, because you need to draw on past papers. There are 10 years of past paper. I did 10 years of past paper twice 
to do it really quickly and accurately. In the end, the actual exam was nothing like the past papers, unfortunately, so it's a really hard course, but it will be worth it. The fourth core module is probabilistic machine learning, 4F13. This is my least favorite class because it's so abstract and complicated. It talks about Gaussian processes, some ranking algorithms. It has three courseworks over the course of two months. And each coursework is a ton of work. So again, it's a really hard course. But if you're interested in the theoretical aspect of machine learning, this class might be very interesting to you. Moving on to electives, I did both my electives in the first term. They are computer vision and robotics. Computer vision, MLMI 12, is one of the core electives. It introduces the principal models and applications of computer vision, which is very interesting because it covers stuff like object detection, camera calibration, stereo vision. I recommend brushing up on linear algebra because it covers concepts like projection, which consists of lots of matrix manipulations. It also covers stuff like recovering 3D positions, how to calibrate single and multiple camera systems, image formation. The other elective I took is robotics. I chose robotics because I'm curious about hardware. In this class, we learned how to build some basic models, like a small disk that can navigate a maze. We use MATLAB because all our classes are online, so we have to build these robots using components in MATLAB and run simulations of how they would work in a virtual environment. The robotics lectures are my favorite lectures because it's really fun and engaging. The lecturer inserts videos of applications in the slides. It piques my interest. I can see how robots teaches itself to walk using reinforcement learning. Moving on to the second term, I took five classes. All of them are core modules. I find the classes in the second terms less intense than the first term. So please don't be discouraged if you're struggling in the first term, because trust me, it will get better. The reason is that I got used to the Cambridge workload, also because I took all my electives in the first term. So in the second term, I had five classes instead of six classes. The seventh class is Advanced Machine Learning. As the name suggests, it is more advanced than all the concepts we learned in the first term. And it has an emphasis on how to implement state-of-the-art machine learning algorithms. The coursework is a group project to implement a machine learning paper. It is a very good exercise to translate algorithms described in a paper into actual code. And I find this interesting and it's quite similar to the work that I'm doing as a machine learning engineer. The eighth class is reinforcement learning and decision making. This is the class that makes the most sense out of all the classes I've taken at Cambridge because it follows closely a textbook that's free to download. So I just have to understand the textbook and I don't have to spend too much time trying to make sense of the lecture slides, which are generally quite unclear. The ninth class is Neuro Machine Translation and Dialogue Systems. This class aligns quite well with my personal interest in machine translation. Moreover, the professor of this class is very clear when delivering lectures. We learn how to use the Slurm scheduling system and use the HPC, the High Performance Computing System of Cambridge. In fact, I also asked this professor to be my supervisor for my thesis, and I worked on a very interesting and meaningful topic, mitigating gender bias in dialogue generation. The 10th class is Designing Intelligent Interactive Systems, MOMI 10. This class focuses on HCI, human-computer interaction. It's more of a chill class, and I'm surprised that it's included as a core module and is mandatory to take. It is an exam-based class, but it's a take-home exam, so you have two days to write three essay questions. It wasn't too bad. The 11th and the last class is Spoken Language Processing and Generation. MLMI 14. It has a really time-consuming practical. 
Practical doesn't mean we work in a lab. In fact, it's an independent project. The project description itself is 13 pages. So you can probably imagine how tedious and time consuming implementing this project was. If you ask me which are my favorite and least favorite classes, I would say my two favorite classes are deep learning and structured data and advanced machine learning because both classes teach a lot of important practical skills like implementing a paper, which is what a lot of machine learning engineers have to do when trying to solve business problems. My least favorite classes are speech recognition and the Designing Intelligent Interactive Systems HCI class. I didn't quite enjoy speech recognition because the data in the projects are all processed, which masks a very important problem in doing work like Siri, how to process noisy signals. Second, I didn't like the HCI class because it has a lot of qualitative aspect to it, which could be learned independently in my own time. And I would have preferred learning about more rigorous and theoretical concepts of machine learning that I couldn't learn on my own. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, you can make my day by liking and subscribing. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next video very soon. Bye.